guys, it's Miss Tyler and Queen here, and if you don't know about my Twitch or my Discord or my Twitter or my Instagram, everything will be linked below. I stream 11.30 a.m. to 2 p.m. on Twitch, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Wednesday, Central Time, and here will be the link right here, twitch.tv slash Queen. If you're not sure how to really type it in or whatever, how to spell the name, it'll be linked down below. But anyways, let's get right into the video. Um, I kind of want to talk about this topic because I feel like... Even though people are saying they're sad about it and I and they feel like, you know, t Jenna shouldn't be pushed in this corner. I mean, it's not only her, but the one that stood out to me is hers. Her video on how she kind of just said she might just quit forever. And for her, for somebody to feel like that, to feel obligated that they need to leave their career because of backlash that she got, that's not okay. And, you know, let me point this out. Everybody is human. Everybody makes mistakes. So some of the content that she made in the back background freaking eight to ten years ago. And you know, I'm not saying any kind of content that's made a long time ago should be excusable. And I understand this cancel culture is used for people to be called out for things that they've done that is questionable or anything that might seem suspicious or any kind of activity they've done on their channel that needs to be pointed out and needs to be either apologized for or anything like that but this girl was pushed to the point of tears this girl has been pushed to the point of possibly never coming back on this platform and for someone who's been here for a really long time as jenna has i don't feel like that's necessary i don't feel like that's an obligation she should have and what I mean by that is I feel like she has every right to be on this platform like everybody else. And, you know, she probably knows that. But the thing is, she has been pushed to the point of no return. And that it, it's a possibly a solid no return. And that's not okay. I don't like seeing people feel like they have done stuff in the past and feel like it's been intentional and for her she was younger she's in her 30s now i believe i don't get me wrong if i if i aged her wrong i do apologize but i think she said she was in her early 30s or something like like tw late 20s early 30s somewhere around there and she was younger eight to ten years ago she's made this type of content like you know she made a video that people would consider blackface or whatever but it was just her making a humorous content about Nicki minaj and she like had her skin color a little bit darker because she painted her face or whatever and she didn't know that was blackface like she genuinely did not know it was blackface otherwise i'm pretty sure she would have never done it to begin with like she's privated and deleted all these type of videos like i'll show a clip right here where i found this information she deleted 600 million views from her history 600 million and now Jenna Marbles has not been without her own controversies in the past, but now isn't the time to really bring it up. Her career has been middling at best, but it, or, you know, it's been sustaining. Oh no, she's at a career low, so it's over 20 million views a month. She's a multimillionaire, but most importantly, she's a YouTube staple. And in this video, she is completely broken. Look at this, look at this clip. Is that the world that, that people want to live in? It had said that she deleted 60 million views of content. And for someone to say that they're genuinely sorry, I think she's genuinely sorry. And she doesn't care about the views at that point. Like, it's done and over with. It's old content. She doesn't want her name to get out her, out there like this. If, if this is what the world considers as blackface, she doesn't want it to be persuaded that she's against black people or she's racist. So she's went out of her way. She's went through all her old videos and deleted them. Because she doesn't want backlash like that. Because she doesn't want to be called something that she's not. And I feel like genuinely she's one of the most honest and sincere people I have ever met on this internet. And, you know, I don't watch her as much as I used to anymore. So, I, I can't say so much about her that she's like this type of person or whatever. But from what I know, from just that clip alone, you can read somebody pretty easily. When they're sitting there showing examples of old videos that she's had saying i didn't know this i didn't know this was this was wrong this was a long time ago so i have matured over these past years over a decade 
okay, of content that she has matured over to. She, she, she's grown up. She knows what's right or what's wrong for her and her standards of her society and stuff like that. And what I'm pretty much saying is like, she's never intended to hurt anybody. All of, all of the videos she's ever made was for a comedic, you know, like just, just, just for, just for fun and nothing to be hurtful. That's why she's went out of her way to delete all these videos and all this type of content that she never intended to hurt anybody. So for people to dig up old videos and possibly send her death threats and say, you don't belong here or, you know, make her feel a certain way where she doesn't even want to be here on this platform anymore is sickening. That's like people digging up your old past and putting cancel culture on you to make where you delete all your social media and you just isolate yourself into an abyss of emptiness and depression. Like you, you, you gotta understand people make mistakes. People aren't perfect. If people who think they're perfect and don't do anything wrong, I'm pretty sure, honey, you have done a lot worse things than these other people who are being called out for cancel culture. And I feel like cancel culture has came to a point where just nitpicking on people that people don't like for whatever reason. Maybe they don't, they don't like her personality. Maybe they, yeah, maybe they got offended by the type of videos that she's made in the past. But people have commented on her video, her a message video. I don't know if I'm gonna have the screenshot or anymore, the, the receipt, because she said she might not have the video up anymore. So hopefully by the time I finish editing this, all this and that, I'm able to get certain like um, messages on her video of, of African Americans saying, hey, I, I'm I'm of color and I didn't find your videos offensive. I they're they're a type of humor, they they're not supposed to be intentionally hurtful or racist, and for that to be said, it, like it blows my mind what people are willing to do to get rid of certain people just because they don't like their face, they don't like them knowing that they're more popular than them or that they're considered better than another person that they watch. I, I don't know what goes through people's heads. But nowadays, people can't take a single simple joke. People can't take anything but seriousness. And it blows my mind what people are willing to do to get rid of certain people because of commentary they've had in the past. And, you know, 10 years is a long time. Even considering two to three years. The, the amount of time that it took me to grow from 17 to almost 20 is insanity. Like my my thinking back then is way different than it is now. And I don't think people tend to really understand that. So with that being said, I want Jenna to see this. I hope she sees it. If we can get her to acknowledge this type of video to say, hey, there's not just only me who are saying this, there's other people too that want you to know that we accept your apology for any type of content that could have been offensive to other people and know that it's okay. We all make mistakes, we're all human, and that you do not need to off yourself off this platform because of maybe possible death threats because people can't take a simple joke because the type of humor this now, now day and age is so stupid. Like, people, people can't take anything like as a joke anymore but literally people are comparing Karen as the n-word and it's like how how are you able to say the full word Karen but you're not able to say the n-word like grow the fuck up it's 2020 it, it, it's like it, it's like all these kids and all these adults are just it, it just uh, I'm not saying I'm perfect I'm not saying any of y'all are perfect and if you think you are then you got another thing coming but it, it's like I don't know it just blows my mind but I just want Jenna to know that she does not if she needs time let her have time she possibly just needs time away from the internet away from everybody and everything just to sit there with her dogs and I don't know if she has a boyfriend or husband or whatever but with her significant other and her family to kind of just take a breather because of this corona stuff and because of all this cancel culture and all this other negativity that's being put on people like her who don't deserve it to just take a moment to sit there and breathe and be able to just know what she know, knows is right for herself. 
and if she genuinely feels like YouTube's not her thing anymore and that she feels like it just it just isn't good for her mental health and that she feels like maybe she'll only post a little bit less maybe once a week or you know however many times she posts maybe she could post less or maybe she can just kind of just do her own thing but whatever Jenna whatever you decide to do I hope it's the right thing for yourself if, if you feel like you still want to be on here on YouTube you have every right to be on here like everybody else does you've done nothing wrong you have even apologized for videos that people have not picked on yet but possibly might and you've even apologized about it so you need to understand that we are here for you we have all the support in the world for you if you need it but we understand if you need time by yourself to be able to just take a breather and get away from all the negativity because the internet is becoming more and more toxic every day that I've noticed because of quarantine issues. But anyways, don't forget to check out my link below for all my social media if you guys are interested and I hope you guys have a great day. Don't forget I stream Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, 11.30 and to 2 p.m. Um, Central Time and go say hello to Jenna. Go show her some love. Go show her some support and we, we need to be able to fix this cancel culture issue i feel like cancel culture needs to be canceled that that's my opinion but i mean everyone has their own views and each their own type of dealio you know what i'm saying so i hope everyone has a good day and thank you so much for watching